All right, we're back. So I'm going to show you the Q-Ray 3. This is the new Q-Ray, and these are not obsolete. This is, we got these last year, put them in service, but we didn't really go through them very well. So I'm going to take you through the calibration of the Q-Ray 3. Uh, first thing you do is you turn it on. Got to hold it for a second, and it's going to go through its countdown mode just like, um, just like the Q-Ray 2. And it goes through a quick self-test. And uh, it just takes a, a few seconds. And these, the Q-Ray 3s, we keep them on uh, 921, the utility, and they're, it's also on 932. So we're going to go through a warm-up, and it's going to take 50 seconds. It's a long time. So through the magic of uh, video, we're going to speed that up for you. Always make sure that you have the filter on these. No matter what, grass, dirt, all that stuff will get in there. So fresh air is zero calibration. So you can either quit, a little, they're a little bit different than the other one. You can quit or you can start. So we want to start the fresh air zero calibration. Go ahead and, and do that. It takes about 27 seconds. Okay, calibration readings show pass, but the oxygen sensor failed. Ooh, that's not good. So, what are we going to do? We're going to exit. Oh, we got an alarm. That's what the alarm sounds like. So if we get one of these, calibrate this. Just don't walk around with the foregas that has an alarm. So, and you'll see that it says OXY, and then it flashes to CAL. So we need to calibrate this for it to go back. All right, so that's what we're going to go through. All right, so we can hit this button here. We're going to move over. It takes us through the highs and lows, the dates, the battery. We're good. All right, we don't want a comms mode, but we do want to calibrate it. To do that, it's the same as the other one. You hold them both down at the same time. And this is a little bit different. We actually have to select all the zeros. So press the right button. It will take you to zero. This will move you over. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left. And you're on OK. We want to do that. So we hit OK. That's your select that. And here we have the different things we can do. We have the little bottle, which is our calibration bottle. We have this, we have the exclamation, and then we have some settings, and we can exit. So, these all have a function. This is uh, your what the alarms are. This is, I forget, this is your data log. So this is all the readings that this thing's ever taken. This is your settings, so you can change the, um, language, the time, but we want the little bottle because that's what we're doing. So we got there, we hit the right but button. All right, so we got the multi-bump, the multi-zero, or the multi-span, and you can select which one you want. Single zero, single span, set the LEL calibration gas, we can exit. First thing we're gonna do is the multi-zero. That's always first. So go to multi-zero and hit that. And then the right hand side says start. You want to go ahead and start. So it's going to zero everything out. It takes about 30 seconds. All right, zeroed it out. Oh, wonderful. So it looks good. Everything passed on the zero. That's great. So we're going to go ahead and exit. But we still need to do more work. We want to do the multi-span because we have multi-sensors. All these white ones are your sensors. That one, there could be a sensor there, but we don't have it. It's empty. You could also do a single bump, single zero, single span, all these others, but we're not going to do that. We want to do the multi-span. So we're going to hit select. And you say, OK, apply the gas. So take a second. This is how it looks. This is how it should look like. A little adapter. It goes to a smaller T-hose. And this, we need to do this for these Q-Ray 3s because if we don't, this liter per minute will blow up the pump on this three milliliter per minute pump. 
So put this on there so you don't break this and we blow up the pump and it, he said it's something like four hundred dollars to repair. And I know it doesn't come out of your pocket, but our taxpayers would appreciate just taking the extra step. So it says apply gas. I turn the I put the hose onto the filter and then you just turn the gas on. That's what I'm doing back here. Open. And it's gonna start calibrating. It just it recognizes it and it's gonna go for it. So we're hanging out. And what this does, this little T, all it does is it blows off excess gas to the level to where this pump can handle it. Okay, we're getting there. Calibrating zero seconds. Okay, and there it is. We have our levels. Cool. They all passed. You can see that. Pass, 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 pass. At this point in time, you can go ahead and close off your bottle. That's what I'm doing. And you can exit out of there. Then it takes you back to the takes you back to the screen, like if you want to calibrate it or not. And then you just a little arrow button will select all go all the way down, go to exit. You want to hit the select exit, and then you can go. Oh, what do we want to do? We're we're done. We're going back to work. Got stuff to do. And you can see the CO. That's always the lowest sensor to zero back out. And that's your calibration, super easy. And when you have that check mark there, you see that check mark? That means it's been calibrated. Now, if you turn this on and it says bump, then you can do a bump calibration. And when that pops up, I'll show you how to do that. All right, I hope you like this. RB signing out.